Hello and welcome back to Marvel Live from San Diego Comic Con 2016. I'm Lorraine Sink. I'm Tamara Krinsky, and I was just looking at this very cool picture with <laughs> yes. John Bernthal. If you guys go over and look at our hashtag Marvel SDCC, you can see a very cool picture of Mr. Bernthal here, right in front of the Punisher mm -hmm. symbol. Skull. It's fabulous. It. Skull. Yeah, I can do it by just is that what they, a picture. Is that the technical term? You're going to take a picture of I'm going to take a picture of a picture. Of the picture. It's all yeah, happening. They're very I meta like here. Yeah. Done. Game set. Yeah. There you go. That one yeah. yeah. So that begs the question, like, what has it been like for you, you know, coming from Daredevil, going into mm -hmm. your own series, you have things like this happening, seeing yourself in front of this amazing logo. It's a, it's a, it's a logo that I... Uh, it's a logo that I, I, I take a lot of pride in, and I'm, I'm very honored that I can stand in front of that logo. That logo means a lot to a lot of people, and um, yeah, tremendously grateful that I get to stand there. Now you, for Daredevil, uh, have talked a little bit about the fact that you spent a lot of time in isolation while you were working on this role. It's just because nobody liked him. Exactly right. Aww. He tries to make it out like you he's You were ostracized. It's nothing to do with that. <laughs> I, I finally like can explain went, my oh lack God, of a social God's life. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's in New York. Hide everybody. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, going into you know your own series, are you going to take a similar approach? How's that going to work for you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, if I if if. Uh, I, I've said before, if I was a better actor, I, I, I could be at nightclubs and eat Chinese food and just go play Frank Castle. But uh, yeah, I have to. Uh, I gotta trim a lot of the fat and I gotta cut a lot of things out, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, I'm, go I'm gonna I'm gonna do something that's never been done before. I'm gonna what? reenact the cover of the first time the Punisher appeared, which was Spider-Man. What, Ryan? Tell us what it was. 1974. Oh, so glad you didn't ask me. I don't need a year. I need a, a, a number. Oh, that would be it Ryan. That would one, be Ryan. Two. Oh, we're gonna be. How many minutes go, are left? Go, 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 go. go. One, two, three, four, five. Whoever signs in gets a copy of this picture. You ready? You you mock aim towards the camera. That's it. Perfect. And then Spider-Man was here. And he was like, <laughs> like falling backwards. Just like that. That's what the cover looked like. Trust you me. Tom Holland, little punk. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And we just killed Spider Man. That's it. There That's you go. It. Punisher killed there Spider Man. News at 11. 129, 129 is not 121. Yeah. Yeah. Only eight months off. Okay, well, if you had a copy of Spider Man 121 and you were looking for the Punisher, which everyone's now doing, it's a huge problem. <laughs> So what has it been like for you? Because, of course, Daredevil Season 2 came out. You got to see the huge reaction. And now you have your own series. I mean, what has that been like for you? Uh, uh, again, look, I... I I'm, I'm really, really grateful. We're gonna have to get yeah. you an answer. For that. I know, but yes. but look, I, I you know I'm very proud to be yeah. a part of Daredevil. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Charlie and that group are as good as it gets, uh, and and uh, I Charlie consider Cox. myself Charlie Cox, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, I consider myself a part of the Daredevil family. That's a family I'm proud to be a part of. And uh, look, the, the the bar is set high, and and uh, I just I just hope people dig dig Punisher, and I hope they dig that the work that we're gonna put in. Do you feel like Frank has changed and evolved through this shooting of the second season of Daredevil? And now knowing you're looking toward your own season, do you feel like he's continuing to change or do you feel like you're growing closer to him in any way? Look, he's, he, he, the character's in my bones, you know, and the character mm -hmm. is evolving and will evolve. And, Get and him out. So, yeah. oh, <laughs> Get him out! <laughs> Look, I'm Get really excited to see these guys. No, 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 no. It's, no punishment here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm, excited to, I'm excited to see what these guys do with it. Yeah. So we, we've, we keep all the scripts all locked up in a very safe place so that John can't get to them. Oh. He's a very persuasive guy. <laughs> is, I do have a question, though. Sort of how much ahead of time do you know about what's happening next? And acting-wise, how do you kind of process that yes. as you're heading he into stuff? <laughs> That's what I mean. You know, normally, yeah. like, when we, you do a... We have a very straight... There's nothing normal about this. We have a very straight <laughs> philosophy yeah. at, yeah. like, everybody thinks yeah. they know what's going to happen like at the shield panel this afternoon mm -hmm. but they don't actually know what's going to happen at the shield panel this afternoon so it's a surprise so mm -hmm. for john it's the same thing if he knows too far ahead all our actors we say oh, yeah. if you know too far ahead what you're playing it may change the reality of what you're playing mm -hmm. in the present day right so that's mm -hmm. what we do at Marvel College, and it no. seems to be working out Can i guarantee I you know more about the show than i do <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it. I hope that's not true. <laughs> more in trouble. But I do have a question too. You know, yeah. one of the things I love about all of the Netflix series is they're all their own. They share worlds, but they're all their own genre. Yes. Can you kind of tell us where Punisher's going to live? You know, you said that there. 
Devil is like an action series. Jessica Jones had much more of a horror I mean, all I can it. really tell you is, is that we continue with Frank's life. And yeah. The idea is that now that he, I mean, that, that last iconic moment mm -hmm. of him putting on the actual mm -hmm. skull yeah. and blowing up his house and turning his mm -hmm. back on what that has. And then now we have to see whether or not he can reclaim for all intents and purposes his humanity, which is always the challenge when yeah. you tell a Frank Castle story, which is, is he just a man who's lost everything mm -hmm. or is he a man who's trying to reclaim where he's going to get to? And when and you were... It, and then in the middle, a lot of people are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Um, and when you guys first started talking about bringing Frank Castle into the series and as you move forward into his own series, were there any particular comics, like any series of Punisher or... I, I get asked that all the time and, yeah. and what we always say is all of them. All like, of them. You just don't know. There yeah. may be a moment from this. Mm -hmm. There have been so many great writers and so many great artists that have worked on the Punisher through the years. Mm -hmm. I think it's part of the reason why it sustained its popularity for all that time, uh, because people have different visions and different ways of doing them. And so, you know, everybody's got their favorite Punisher story, so that's what we're trying to do, is make a show that feels like all of those things put together. And how about for you, are there any particular issues you went back into, or is for you, do you like to sort of start fresh with what the writer's room hands to you? Yes and yes. Uh, I mean, yeah. everything. I, I, I read everything I get my hands on. There are particular lines that I really, really dig, and I think really sort of fell in line with the more the origins tale that was Frank's story in Daredevil 2 and uh, but look you know it's it's, it's all going to be about we have a great writer Stephen Lightfoot uh, I, 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 I can't wait to see what he does and I'm, I'm interested on his take and, and then we'll take it from there. Well we can't wait we to can't see wait it either. So where can fans find more info about the new series as it comes out? Well, Call Jeff Loeb. Here. Just Call bother him. him. His Go to his house. Number is. Knock on his door. It won't work. <laughs> you can try anything. Uh, I, you know, as always, all the news, all the facts, they come one place first. Marvel.com. That's the place where you got to go. Thank you, and what Jeff. about you, John? Is there a place where if fans want to, are you in the Twitterverse? Are you on the Instagrams? If fans want to find you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the Twitter. I'm Where on can the Twitter. they find you? What's your Twitter? My Twitter oh, uh, uh, at them. Johnny Bernthal. I suck at that. I'm bad at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, at Johnny Bernthal. At Johnny Bernthal. That's, that's my, my Twitter handle. But go to marvel.com. That's where you find out about the fun. <laughs> yes. Keep watching marvel.com slash SDCCC 2016. Mm -hmm. We'll be here bringing you more live moments from the convention all day. Thank so you, guys. Thanks stick so around much. here Have on fun. Marvel Live. All right. Thanks, everyone.